Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Review Flex. In this video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming DCU reboot with James Gunn, and it looks like actress Madeline Klein could be in talks to be playing Supergirl. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, stay up to date with all the movie news we have going on around here. And with that down, let's jump into this DC news. So this article comes to us courtesy of Comic Book Movie. Glass Onion star Madeline Klein is rumoured contender to play Supergirl in the DCU. So a recent report claimed that Supergirl will make her debut in James Gunn's Superman Legacy, and we're now hearing that Madeline Klein might be in line to play the character in the DCU. Yeah, so recently we've been getting a lot of announcements, casting announcements about Superman Legacy. Obviously, they just cast, um, you know, Nicholas Holt as Lex Luthor, and it seems like a lot of the characters in the movie have already been cast. So if Supergirl is in fact um, showing up in Superman Legacy, it's just a matter of time, sooner rather than later, that we get a casting announcement of Supergirl and who is playing the the character, you know, um, should be appearing online soon. But it looks like Madeline Klein, the actress, is in talks, or potentially in talks, to play the Supergirl character, which is super interesting because she's a great actress. And um, let's keep reading and see what we can learn and see if there's any more kind of um, information about this potential casting of Supergirl. So many fans were hoping that the Flash actress, Sasha Calais, would be given the opportunity to return as Supergirl in the DCU. Yeah, but she's like from the older regime, you know, there's a lot of baggage attached, to, you know, to the old DC. James Gunn wouldn't want to kind of mar his own DC by bringing over characters from the old regime. That kind of makes sense. I get that. But a recent report indicated that James Gunn is planning to cast a new Cara zor and we may have our first contender for the role. So according to John Rusher on the latest episode of The Hot Mic, Madeline Klein could either be in talks to play the Girl of Steel or as someone Gunn and Warner Brothers are eyeing for the part. Yeah, guys, so unfortunately, I do apologize, do apologize about this. They said that, you know, um, according to um, John Rusher on the latest episode of The Hot Mic, he says that, you know, Madeline Klein is in talks to play this character of Supergirl. And um, I went through the actual episode of the podcast. It's two hours long, and I could not find the quote or the reference, you know, to him saying that. It's two hours long. So to sit there and have to go through a two-hour podcast to try and pick out two sentences of him say talking about Supergirl, I just, I couldn't find it, guys. I do apologize. So we'll have to take it at face value that this article is correct with what they're saying um, was mentioned on the podcast. So the 25-year-old actress will likely be best known for Netflix's Outer Banks, but also played Whiskey in Glass Onion and has appeared in Stranger Things, The Originals, and What Breaks the Ice. This is very much just a rumor for the time being, but Klein certainly looks the part. Yeah, she absolutely does. She's, she, you know, she's a great looking, um, great looking girl. So she would go very well in the role. Um, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow is in the early stages of development, but we've heard that Kara will actually make her debut in Superman Legacy, so there's a decent chance we'll get an official casting announcement very soon. Like I say, guys, they've been making a lot of casting announcements, you know, and it pretty much seems that this movie is chock-a-block full with superheroes as it stands, and a lot of the casting announcements have been made. So if Supergirl is appearing, then I hope that the announcement's going to be made soon. Um, because a lot of people are anticipating who's going to play this major role within DC, you know, the DC reboot. Because Supergirl is a pretty important character in the overarching narrative of DC, obviously. So Russia has also heard that Gunn will be at next year's Comic-Con to debut the first Superman Legacy teaser. Cannot wait, guys. There's so much hinging on this, you know, this first DC movie of Superman Legacy. And, you know... If it comes out and critically bombs, financially bombs, I have no idea what they're going to do with DC. So, you know, there's so much pressure on James Gunn to make sure this movie is the best that it can be because potentially the whole of the DC, um, you know, franchise rests on the shoulders of Superman Legacy. So, um, you know, casting Supergirl, as a side note, it's got to be correct. It's got to, you know, the chemistry between Supergirl and Superman, it has to work. It has to make the movie flow correctly. So, yeah, all the pressure in the world. I would not want to be James Gunn, that's for sure. But then again, that's why they pay him the big bucks. And uh, that's why they, you know, that's why we're movie fans. So that's what it is. <laughs> so in addition to David uh, Corrin Sweat as the Man of Steel, Rachel Brosnahan as Lois Lane. Legacy will also introduce Isabella Merced as Hawkgirl. Eddie Gafigi as Mr. Terrific. Nathan Fillion as Green Lantern, Guy Gardner. And Anthony uh, Carrigan as Metamorpho. More recently, Nicholas Holt has been announced as Lex Luthor, with Sarah Sampaio, I think that's how you say it, uh, signing on to play the assistant or lover Eve Techmacher, and Skylar Gazondo taking on the role of Jimmy Olsen. Members of the anti-hero team, The Authority, will also appear, and we recently learned that Maria, uh, Maria 
Gabriella DeFaria. Animal Control has also been cast as Angela Spicker or Spicer. I don't know how you say that, guys. Uh, the Engineer. So, like I say, this movie is chock-a-block. You know, a lot of people have been messaging um, James Gunn on social media saying that they're worried about this movie being, you know, too full up with, you know, superheroes and they're worried that Superman's going to get lost in his own movie. James Gunn has replied to those tweets and said, you know, at the end of the day, he's not going to get lost. It's still a Superman-centric movie and um, it's no different to any other movie with other characters in it. Um, just the fact that they're superheroes, it doesn't mean that Superman's going to get lost in the movie. So James Gunn has put a lot of fans at rest with his comments, you know, replying to um, the amount of superheroes in the Superman Legacy movie. So um, we're still not sure exactly how these other superheroes will factor into the story, but Gunn has previously revealed that Superman's dull life as both Clark Kent and the Man of Steel will be explored in the film, suggesting that these characters will be his super friends. Whether they'll be part of an actual team or not remains to be seen. So, quote, Superman Legacy is the true foundation of our creative vision for DC Universe. Not only is Superman an iconic part of the DC lore, he is also a favorite character for comic book readers, viewers, and earlier movies, and fans around the world, said Gunn during his DCU Slate announcement. I can't wait to introduce our version of Superman, who audiences will be able to follow and get to know across films, movies, animation, and gaming. Yeah, this is another thing that I keep forgetting. You know, DC moving forward, the reboot of DC, games games, movies, um, animation, and video games. They're all following one cohesive DC universe. So this Superman that you're gonna be watching in Superman Legacy, if any Superman games come out or DC games that feature Superman, it's gonna be the exact same character following the same story and narrative. So that's kind of interesting. I'm really excited to see where they go with that. So uh, split specific, uh, specific plot details are still under wraps, but Brainiac is rumored to be the movie's primary antagonist. Excited to see Brainiac. Uh, Gunn recently debunked another report which claimed the story would revolve around some kind of conflict in a fictional Middle Eastern country, which is where the Scarab and Blue Beetle originates from in the comics. It was said that the Man of Steel would be blamed for a terrorist organization getting their hand on Kryptonian tech. The authority would be sent to investigate. Gunn simply stated that the terrorist threat aspect isn't true, so there's always a chance that some of the other details are accurate. Production is scheduled to get underway early next year. Like I say, guys, with this movie ramping up its um, production, with it actually going into principal photography, which means they're going to start actively shooting the movie. We never know. We maybe get behind the scenes images that, you know, sneaky people taking images from far away, like we've been getting with Deadpool, you know, a lot of set, set leaks and stuff like that. So we may get some, you know, images coming out from the set, you know, seeing these characters and stuff, which is going to be really exciting to learn more about Superman Legacy. So yeah, there we are, guys, with the news of, you know, Madeline Klein potentially being in talks to play Supergirl. Guys, again, this is a rumor. Number one, we don't actually know if Supergirl is going to be in Superman Legacy. And number two, we don't know if Madeline Klein is, in fact, going to be cast. It's just a double rumor at this point. But it's still fun to talk about and it's still fun to speculate as a DC fan as to where Supergirl may end up going in the DC reboot. So guys, I throw it off to you. Jump into the comment section. Let me know about this. What you think? Would you be excited for Madeline Klein to be playing Supergirl? And are you excited of the news that she may be turning up in Superman Legacy? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.